Hello, my name is Kate Burns, and I work with the customer engagement team here at Visible Body. Today, I'm just sharing with you a couple of great tips to get started using Visible Body courseware and our apps. The first thing that you're going to do uh, is you need to log into courseware. If you don't have Blackboard or Canvas at your school, then your instructor will send you a link. All you have to do is follow that link. It'll bring you right here to this page uh, where you can sign up or sign in. If you, if your school has Blackboard or Canvas, then your instructor will have already linked your class. So you can actually just get, uh, go right to that class and get that link right there. And uh, you'll get to this either way, you'll end up at the same page to sign up or sign in. So if you have used Visible Body in the past, you can actually just sign in using this link, enter your credentials there. Uh, or if you need to sign up, just go ahead and click this sign up link and fill out this information, agree to the user agreement, and then confirm that you're not a robot. And uh, that is how you get your account all set up. Once you have your account set up, the next thing you'll want to do is check out your assignment notifications and the calendar. So here we are on my course page and I can see that my instructor has uh, published a couple of assignments for me to review and then uh, maybe even take a graded quiz on those subjects. You'll notice these red dots here and these are assignments that I have not yet interacted with. So that's a really great way to quickly find out uh, what you need to focus on next. You'll see once you click into an assignment, uh, and you can read in uh, more about that, this one opens up a file for us. Um, but once then you go back to the assignments, that assignment no longer has a red dot in there. So that's just a quick way uh, to keep track of what you still need to focus on. Another thing I wanted to highlight on this screen for you is the two different types of assignment. Uh, either it is uh, just some materials to review and look over, uh, and that is indicated by these three lines here, or it's going to be something that talks to the grade book, uh, which is indicated by this check mark. And all of our graded quizzes will have that icon there next to it. And that's going to talk uh, to the grade book, which we'll talk about in just one minute. Before we do, uh, I wanted to show you another way that you can kind of review those assignments um, and uh, see what's coming up. So I'm just going to click right here on the calendar. And uh, this might work better for you as a layout rather than the list view uh, to be able to see what's upcoming. And it looks like these assignments are due here on the 31st at the end of this month. Um, so you can actually click right here if you want to see all the assignments that are due and scroll through them. Anything in blue is something that you have not yet interacted with. Uh, and anything that is in uh, the gray, black text color there means that you have already interacted with that. So you can actually uh, get to these right through uh, the calendar by clicking on them and then clicking View Assignment. I'll bring you right there. Okay, now that you have your account all set up and you know how to review your assignments, I wanna highlight for you the My Apps page which is over here, always on the navigation bar for you. And you click here, you can launch any of the web versions of the apps just using these links right here. As you can see, I already have the anatomy and physiology app up uh, to view. Um, so you could click right from here and instead of getting to the apps through one of the assignments, you can get uh, go directly to the app with these links. Now, if you want one of these apps on your uh, personal device, tablet, phone, whatever it is, you're going to want to follow these steps right here for my mobile apps. Um, and so these are the steps that are going to allow you to get these apps right on your personal devices. Keep in mind that it is one download per app and you can choose what device you'd like that mobile download uh, to go to. Um, it's just important uh, to follow these steps. And then when you get to the pay screen on the app store, it's going to uh, give you the opportunity to enter a username and password. And uh, do not enter your courseware 
username and password. These are the credentials that are unique to your account that will allow you to bypass that pay screen over in the app store. So make sure when you want to get those uh, mobile versions to follow these instructions and then use this username and password uh, right here from your Courseware account. Now I just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between practice and graded quizzes. When we talked about assignments, I highlighted for you the, these icons, letting you know uh, that we have uh, something that's going to talk to the gradebook and something that's not going to talk to the gradebook. You'll also notice that we have things called practice quizzes. Notice the icon here. These do not talk to the gradebook. They're a wonderful asset to allow you to review information and make sure that you're ready and prepared for the graded assessment. Uh, so these live right in the apps, so you can either access this right here by clicking the link in the assignment or just by launching the Anatomy and Physiology app. It'll always tell you which app the source is for that practice quiz. So I know that this one is the Cells and Tissues Practice Quiz in the Anatomy and Physiology app. Uh, so you can click here to launch that, or you can always just go directly to the app and uh, locate it yourself here in the menus. So um, let me tell you a little bit about the, the practice quizzes. In terms of moving things around, it's pretty similar to how things work in, with any of the 3D models on any of our apps. Uh, and just like in our graded assessments, you'll be able to kind of do some exploring. Uh, so as you'll see here, let's see, select any part of the plasma membrane. We'll get this one right and select any part of the nucleus. So I'm going to select not the nucleus um, and then show the answer. So as you can see, it hid everything else and then highlighted in blue the correct structure. That's why the practice quizzes are really great as study guides to allow you to kind of check where you need to focus your learning. Then of course, once we go back to our assignments, once we're ready, we know uh, what we wanna do, we can go ahead and take that graded quiz. And this is what's going to report back to the gradebook. There's a couple of things I wanna highlight here on these graded type assignments. Uh, the, the type is listed here, so you'll again see the graded quiz. And again, I wanna highlight for you the source because the source here is the graded quiz bank. So that's another indicator that uh, this assignment is going to report to the gradebook. You'll also notice how many attempts you have left for each one of these quizzes and the due date for all of them. Um, and I do have uh, one attempt left here for the cell structure and function dissection quiz. Now what I'm doing is launching the quiz app. You can only take quizzes on the web. Uh, these are not available yet on your mobile devices. Um, and here you can see attempt two out of two. So I'll go ahead and take the quiz. Um, so this works just the same as one of the practice quizzes where I uh, will have uh, the question or instruction to select a microfilament. Um, and I'm going to select these. Uh, see here, you can also fade and hide. So if you did need to uh, hide the structures away to get down to the nucleus, um, you could absolutely do so. So I'll go ahead and submit that. But because it's graded, I do not get the opportunity to review or to see uh, what the correct answer is. Okay, and I got 20%. Um, so I can review the quiz and take a look at uh, what I got right and wrong at this point. Um, your instructor might decide that uh, they don't want to have the answers showing at the end of a quiz, um, but that's all based on the assignment setup. So uh, your instructor will, will make that call whether or not they want to uh, have the correct answers listed after the quiz, which means you may or may not be able to see that here. So now that uh, I have taken that quiz, I want to show you the gradebook. So I'm going to jump over here to the gradebook, and here's the uh, quiz that I have taken. And you can see that all of these, uh, all of the quizzes that are currently published by my instructor will be listed here, so I can kind of check my progress. 
and uh, from here. And again, your instructor will decide whether or not this information will be visible here. Uh, but you can see that out of the two points available for this quiz, I got uh, 0.8. Not very good, but uh, I tried. <laughs> um, and then you can also, because I did take this particular quiz twice, once with I got 40% and the next time I got 20%, I can review all of my attempts right here. And you can see when I took those quizzes and how long each attempt took. Okay, so I hope you guys found some helpful tips and tricks in this video uh, from getting your account set up, uh, using your join link or accessing your course through Blackboard or Canvas, um, and then reviewing your assignments uh, and taking practice and graded quizzes. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.